in this video we're going to be looking at getting the HUD working in game. So we set it up last video, uh, the design of it. So load. you should have something like this. Uh, we are going to get that set up in the game so it's visible and um, get the stamina health to regenerate. Um, and then in the next videos, we will look towards getting damage, death, animations in there and things like that. So, uh, to begin, we're actually going to go back to our character blueprint. So we pause this, go back and in this setup that I'm using, it is this goblin character. Uh, we're going to be switching between this goblin character and the uh, the HUD display, the HUD um, blueprint that we set up in the last video. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of variables. So we're going to click variable. Uh, on this side, we're going to name this health. And we want this to be a float. And then we are also going to create a stamina. So stamina and health, make sure they're both floats. So once they're done, we are just going to compile and save this just for now. And head back to the hood widget. So with this open, I'm going to select the health progress bar and we are going to go to the right hand side, scroll down, close this up. And here where it says percent, set this back to zero. I'm going to bind this, create binding. You'll get something like this pop up is how it should be. So we need to set up a couple of things in here. Uh, we're going to click get player. Oop, I spell it right. So we're going to right click and search for get player character. We get this. And then from here Drag out and search for cast to. Oh, I've done this the wrong way. Cast to. And then we're looking for the character name of whatever your character is. So mine's Goblin Character. So we've got cast to Goblin Character. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have this connect in here and back out the other side. So that's the sort of first part of this done. Uh, we need to then create a target. So it's getting the player information here for the health bar should be connected to. So it's talking about that health bar being related to the goblin character or whatever your character would be. So from here, we're gonna search for health and we're going to get the health. So this is the uh, variable we just set up. It should come up like this. And then we're looking to pull this out and search for a divide. So um, you just search uh, divide. This one? No, not that one. So we're looking for the floor slash floor, and that's the divide. And then we're just gonna connect this back up to here. So with this, we want the health to be divided by 100 because we want 100 pieces of health, if you will, it to be out of 100. So we're gonna put that there. So that is the basics of the health setup. Um, there's a few little bit bits of things we need to do, but that is the start.
Um, so I just press compile and save. And we'll close that one. And we're stopping it again. And this time we're going to do the same, but for the stamina. So we'll go back to the stamina bar and repeat this process. So set this back to zero. Press bind, create new binding. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to use the stamina instead of the health. So add get player character. We are going to cast this to the goblin character. to just connect these up we are going to pull this down and search for um, the stamina and get the stamina we are going to then search for the divide and get the float slash float connect this back up and then just change this number to 100 Okay, so these is the stamina progress bar set up um, to an extent. So again, compile, save, and we can close this for now. So once this is set up, uh, we will go back to our character. So a couple in character. So we're in this screen here. So, and the important things for us are going to be the event tick and also the event begin play is now also going to be used. So, this down. So continuing on from the video, that I just paused. Um, we have the event tick here. Um, and what we want to do is want to pull out from here and set the stamina. And from here, we want to search for a, gray, a plus float, sorry. Float plus float. And then what we need is we right click here and search a the better way to do it is probably to do this first. So we delete that one. Here, if I search and I put um, stamina, I'm about to get that. Just done here. And here we want the plus plot. And then click this up. And then from here, we want the set health. And we're sort of going to repeat this. So again, right click down here, search for health, get health, pull out, and search for plus fort, and then connect this up. So now we've got this set up, in a sense, we have every frame, it's going to add one to the stamina and the health. So we also just need to add to the event play the widget, so the actual HUD. So here we pull off and we search create widget and select this. And then in here where it says class, we're just going to click on there and search for the hood. And then from the pull out, we're going to search for add to viewport. And add that to viewport. Just make sure you connect up the return value to the target. And we compile and save. 
pause this, go to play, see the health stamina bar are there and they've just gone up. And the problem we have is if we move our character, the stamina is not changing or jump in or if we attack, which really should be causing the stamina to go down. So the last part of this video, we'll just sort that out. We'll just fix that up. So we are going to go into the goblin character. We are going to go to to the attack that we created. And in here, we're just going to pull this over here. So what we're looking for is dragging these out, make a bit of room. Pull these right to the edge. So we've got some room here to work with. So we're going to be needing this space. So what we need to do is set it up so that when the attack is pressed, it'll take away some stamina. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the stamina. So I'm just going to click up here and search get the stamina. And we're going to pull off this. I'm going to search for a greater than. So it's greater than 10. Then we're going to connect this up to a branch. So So if the stamina is greater than 10, it will do an attack. Okay, so here we need to oh okay, I missed a part. Um this does not need connecting yet. So I'm just gonna break this. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull this branch back, these parts of the branch back. So, if it is true, it's going to lower by. So we need to search for down. Float minus float, is this right? Okay. We can get it this way. I'm sure if this is correct, I'm just going to try and check. I was watching. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so go back to Unreal. So looking at this. Okay, so there's just one little bit we've missed. So if we go back to our goblin character, this stamina here just needs to connect to the top part. So here what it's saying is the stamina, if it's greater than 10, it can play the attack. If true, um, if we go through, and when it goes through, it'll take away 10 from the stamina. If we compile and save this, so just to finish off this video, uh, the issue I had was in the Goblin character, when we set the event tick and we set the stamina, this was going up too fast for the, how much it was taking off. So we need to lower this to say 0.1, we've done the same with the health. And this is all the same as it was, so that is how it's connected up. Again, these are 10 and 10. Power and save this. I'll show you the working in game. So you can see the slowly, go, slowly going up. And if I press the attack button, it drops the stamina. And if it gets below 10, I can't do it until it gets back over 10. Yep. So that is it for this video. Um, in the next one, we will look at the health system in more detail.